Wakey, wakey, everyone. It's another lovely day in Wellington Wells. It has been forever since I put this hat on. Hey, guys. Um, it's been a while. I uh, hope you haven't been waiting too long for a video from me. There are some people who have been wanting to, me to put content up for a while, and I, I hope I can deliver. And I'm starting off with an unboxing video. People just love those. Uh, I decided that the unboxing I wanted to do is on a little piece of merch from a certain video game that I've always been attracted to. Uh, this is the Wii Happy Few Time Capsule. This isn't some kind of collector's edition that you can get that comes with the game. As far as I know, there's not even a digital code for the game in this package. But what is in here is a bunch of merch that is related to Wii Happy Few, the game's world, and all that, and it was honestly is stuff that you would find in a collector's edition of the game that would come with it all. Like it's like they just took all that, separated it, and instead of being some $500 collector's edition that you would see nowadays, it's just here's the merch, which you know I I don't think is the worst idea. We've all we've all seen what happens when you sell a game uh, with a collector's edition. Those things just shoot up to $800, and now you're paying almost three, four, ten times as much as you'd be paying for a life-size replica of the Norman Reedus baby from Death Stranding. We Happy Few is a game that I'm actually very interested in. I've been interested in it ever since it was in early access back in 2016. The game just spoke to me with its 1960s retro-futuristic style it had going for it. I loved everything about the visuals. I loved the idea of the story about you know, the people of Welting Wells taking this drug that would just make them forget something horrible they did during the war. I loved all of that. So I followed this game religiously. I watched Christopher Odd's uh, early Let's Play videos of this game when it was just in early access. And then, well, then the game released. And, um... That's glitch. So weird. Oh, whoa. So messed up. Same thing for every freaking load, man. Like, wow. <laughs> go. Go to sleep. That's the first fight I've won since just gotta wait for, wait for the controller to load in. Hold on. There we go. I would love... Oh, God. Now entering... Oh, Alright. Oh, I hope that doesn't happen all the time. Because that's gonna be a pain in the ass. I can't keep doing this. I Okay, I'm gonna need to run now and find a place to hide because I don't think I have enough Stop loading oh, God. Yeah, it didn't meet expectations to say the least the game was riddled with horrendous bugs that prevented you from playing it Not just on consoles, but on the PC I know the game's been patched to hell and back now, and it has three pieces of DLC that I've heard are even better than the main game itself, so maybe one day I'll take a look at it, but for now, I wanted to take a look at this little collector's edition right here. This thing originally goes for $80. Now, $80 on Amazon.com, and it was selling for $30, so I thought, mine. And uh, for $80, I'm hoping that this is something pretty special. Now, the first thing I gotta say about this is the box itself is nice. I was really expecting this thing to be some cheap cardboard cutout, just like cheap piece of cardboard that they just stuffed everything in with a bit of plastic to hold everything together. But no, this box is actually quite sturdy. Like, it's much uh, better than I thought it was going to be. It, just the style oozes from it. You got the We Happy Few logo with three the three main characters and a Bobby at the end. Uh, one of the central antagonists that roam the streets of Wellington Wells. You've got a couple of the catchphrases like, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our day. Or the, <laughs> the end of our time. 
which is a phrase that Uncle Jack uses when uh, he's done with his little speeches for the day. And then on this side, we've got snug as a bug on a drug, which is a phrase that Ar Arthur, the first main character of the game, uses a lot. So right off the bat, the presentation for this thing is exceptional. Without further ado, let's take a look at what is in this awesome collector's edition. First thing that is in this box is a user's manual. It says Uncle Jack Alarm Clock User's Manual, which is one of the collector's things that are in this little box. That's awesome, like just a little manual. And next up, we have... I'm assuming these are the posters that came with it. Something for you ASMR freaks out there. So there are three posters, I believe, came with this. Wow, they are thrown tight together. Let's look at them one at a time. So we got this bad boy, which is one of the central antagonists of the game. That's not one of the Bobbies. There are something else. I forget what they're called. And there's a phrase at the bottom. It says, are you ready to behave? Come and take your joy. Honestly, this is a really good looking poster. Okay, this is a really good one. A happy face means a happy place, which is just a couple high on drugs, I'm assuming, just living their best life. Wow, this is, I really like this. The propaganda posters, super good. So I, I don't know if these are like posters that you can like see throughout the town of Wellington Wells, or if these are just made for this little collector's edition. We got one more, so let's take a look. Ooh, it's about joy. <laughs> so I don't know if, if the picture is coming in that clear, but it's a, it looks like it's ice cream, but it's actually just a contain, a glass full of joy, which it's the new strawberry joy, which in game, uh, the Strawberry Joy is actually Arthur's favorite joy. I, I played enough of the game to know that. Uh, that Strawberry was his favorite flavor. This was the one, if I, if I frame any of them, I want to frame this one. Uh, these are really cool. Definitely love these posters. Um, they're wound up a little tight, if I'm being honest. But, you know, they'll, they'll loosen up as time goes on as soon as I get them in a frame. Definitely want to. The Wellington Wells Broadcasting Cooperation, or Corpor Cor Corporation, broadcast will resume shortly. And this is the vinyl soundtrack for the game. There's a download code on the vinyl soundtrack. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'll cut that out if, I'll cut out the, the letters if you can see it, but but it says download instructions, open Steam, select game menu, activate product. So is the whole game in here or is this just the sound for the soundtrack? I mean this this came out like years ago, so I imagine this is probably inactive. But that's pretty cool. It comes with a code and a vinyl. It's got a side A B setup. Let's open this thing up. I and myself. I love vinyls. Uh, there's something about the way they sound that really hits me in the right way. Oh man. That. Ooh, that is gonna hypnotize you. We're gonna put this on the vinyl record player I have and we're gonna we're gonna take a look at this in a bit. Awesome. I love the style. Love it, love it. I know a lot of people are like, well, what's the point of the soundtrack? You know, but game soundtracks are important. And uh, honestly, game soundtracks are awesome. 
Alright, what else? What do we got? Styrofoam. Hey, it's some premium styrofoam in this collector's edition, too. It's good stuff. Oh, okay. How to be happy. How to be happy, a brief guide for citizens published by the Wellington Wells Committee for Public Happiness. So this is, and there's actually something else back here. Hold on, before I open it. Like, look at that, it's like stickers, I think. Yeah, these are stickers. Uh, I gotta say, honestly, so far all the products are packaged very nicely and taken really well care of. So, some of these say, limit joy to once per hour. If you did that in game, you'd OD, by the way, if you took joy that fast. Um, modeling the fuel of the future. Never heard that, really. All pilots must, be rep must report for lubing twice weekly. Creepy. And danger, spankers keep you safe from downers because you don't want to be a downer. No, 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 you do not want to be a downer. These look awesome, honestly, I really like them. <laughs> there's a, there's a color in, is the camera getting that? There's a color in ja Uncle Jack picture in here just to kind of help sell it. This thing is awesome. Like, so this is seriously, uh, just like a little guide. There's a crossword puzzle in here. Uh, this is like literally like a little guide on all things that go on in Wellington Wells. There's little things you can mess around with to customize. And this is great. Oh, here. Here you go. An example of correct behavior and incorrect behavior. Uh, are we going to be able to show that? I don't know. YouTube might demonetize me. Who knows? This is, oh, this is super cool. Just a little, it's like an art gallery of like all the spawn, the fake sponsors and stuff they have in game. So it's, it's like a combination of like an art gallery and, oh, this is cool. Look, so you can cut out, make your own mask from this. Uh, I don't really believe the intention is to do that, but this is really just a, uh, hey, you know, this is what, like, one of these manuals would tell the citizens of Wellington Wells. And, oh man, I really like this. This is like, this is a very, very cool, this is so far the coolest thing that has been in the collection. A lot of effort went into this little piece of product. Alright, next. So here is that Uncle Jack's alarm clock that uh, came with. And honestly, I'm surprised. I thought this thing was going to be a little bit cheaper than this, but on, but it, it's an alarm clock and it's fairly sizable. I thought it was going to be smaller, but it's about the size of a baseball, which is cool. And uh, does it come with batteries? It does not. It takes AAA batteries, which I don't think I have any in the house. But overall, this is really cool. Uh, definitely a great addition for this little design. It totally fits the super clean 1960s aesthetic that they wanted. I'm gonna put them next to uh, my Super Meat Boy, and uh, Meat Boy will always tell me what time it is when I'm editing videos. Now this next one I really, really love. Uh, it's like a little uh, carrying lamp. It says, uh, you look smashing. <laughs> And what does it take? Double A batteries, hold on. I have some double A's, let's turn this thing on. Give me a minute. So let's get these triple double A batteries in and see what's up. 
That looks great. Uh, I don't know if... Yeah, the, the lighting isn't doing it justice. It's pretty bright. Like, not super bright. It's not meant to be, but it's like a really nice set piece to have around the house. On well, the coolness factor, it's up there with some of my collectibles that I really like. That was the clock and the little lamp. So what's next? Um, I think only one more thing. Wow, this is actually really detailed. It's a bobby mask. And it's actually, it's not wearable, but I can actually see out of it pretty clear. It's almost like face fitting size. This is like what the bobbies would wear and what the people of Wellington, Wellington Wells would wear, just wandering the cities on their joy and looking for downers. I like, this is cool. There's a little fan set, so I'm guessing like you just, that's pretty cool. Definitely one of the coolest uh, bits. I think this is probably the coolest part of the collection. Uh, but honestly, that's uh, a little worried. It's not that sturdy, it's kind of wobbling. So if this thing were to fall, I mean, if this thing falls, the mass breaks, but if this thing falls, it's not gonna, the stand's not gonna secure it. So probably gonna have to get some super glue in there and just stab it in. So overall, honestly, this collection is really good. I really, really, really like uh, everything that came in this collection for $30. This is more than what you would get. Originally it was going for 80. I feel completely satisfied with my payment of $30 for this whole set, for the posters, the vinyl, everything is just really cool. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna last in terms of durability, but these are little trinkets that I think I'm gonna treasure for as long as I can. I really appreciate everybody coming to check out the unboxing video. I'm going to promise you this, this is the first of many. Uh, I am definitely back. I took a long break for a long time and I'm ready to come back and the next video you'll see is going to be on Halloween and I hope you're ready for it because it's going to be a monster of a video. And unfortunately I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. And I hope you guys can be well, remember to take your joy, and have a fantastic day. And like and subscribe.